Two of the biggest concerns that we heard were the lack of public and legislative oversight into the standards adoption and the lack of any direct involvement by Wisconsinites. The bill wouldn't abolish Common Core standards directly, but would set up a 15-member board that could. It would be comprised of five people from DPI, along with appointees selected by the governor and legislative leaders. Let me be perfectly clear, legislators will not write the standards. The standards will be clearly written by the Model Academic Standards Board and will be reviewed by both DPI and JCRER. But dozens of school district superintendents that pack the hearing room say they're most troubled exactly because of the way that review process works, allowing the legislature's Joint Committee on Review of Administrative Rules to have the final say on those standards. But we don't need for the legislature to meddle in issues that are best addressed at the local level. Several business leaders also turned out against the bill, saying that keeping the Common Core standards is important to attracting young professionals with school-aged children who are considering jobs here. If we go our own separate way, that's going to just uh, add complexity to that decision, and we're very concerned about that. But some parents tell the committee Common Core is simply not working for their kids, and they want it thrown out. We turn back now because this is the only chance we have to turn back. So do we as a state and as policymakers, we are right at the precipice of making an important decision. Are we going to just go over the cliff? The ultimate tragedy of this bill is that it distracts from our crucial day-to-day -day sustained focus on teaching and learning, which is the key to any urban district success. Still several votes short of passage. Senate Majority Leader Scott Fitzgerald says it's not dead, but unlikely to pass in its current form.